Hey, what's up, everybody? Dobie Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the black background from an image. So we're essentially gonna be taking this image and then removing the black background and attaching it to another image or background layer to make it appear realistic. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. First things first, I just went ahead and imported some different images here. I have a background concert image and then a foreground smoke element that I would like to add on top of the concert to make it appear better. I grabbed both of these images from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based service for an unlimited amount of stock photos, uh, stock footage for videos, templates, etc. Check out the link in the description below. So when you import this top layer, your first instinct is going to be to maybe use the screen effect. And that does work pretty well pretty quick to add on, and in this particular case, it looks decent. But the problem is, what if we wanted this smoke to be thicker? You could just, I guess, keep duplicating the layers to do that, but you don't have a lot of control. So you can see that if I keep duplicating, yeah, it gets a little, but you don't have, like I said, a lot of control. So what we wanna do instead is we're gonna go to normal here. We are then going to duplicate the layer ourselves for this particular effect. We'll then go up to our adjustment layers, and we're gonna look for curves and then black and white. So we're gonna first apply black and white, we're then going to apply curves. And with this, we just wanna bring up the brightness a touch here. So you can see, maybe we don't wanna blow out the whites so you can see that's happening right around this region when we go too far out over there. We just wanna make it a little brighter here. And we can add contrast, for example, if we want the smoke to be poppier or we want some of the background wisps to disappear. This is really where you're sort of controlling this effect. White is gonna stay the back. Uh, as it goes to gray, it's gonna get more and more transparent. Once you are happy with your curves adjustment, we are going to select all three of these. We're gonna right click on them and then go down to or, or up to merge layers right here. We now have a singular curves layer. We're then gonna move over to our left and we're going to look for the selection tool. We're going to make sure we have the top image selected. We're gonna hit control A to select all. You can also just go up to select all right here. Once you have everything selected, we are then going to copy, which you can go to edit copy as well, but we're gonna to go to control C that is going to copy this. We are then going to go to this layer, create ourselves a mask, or a, uh, yeah, basically a mask layer on the right there. And then we are going to go ahead and hit the command or Alt key to jump inside of this. We will then click the Control V. So I know a lot of keyboard shortcuts. So you wanna hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, create the layer, then Command click or Alt click, depending on your device, to get inside, then control V to paste. You'll then have this. Now, that's your effect. Undo this and you'll see that what you have selected is now a part of the scene. You have added the smoke into this particular scene. Again, it all really depends on how you adjusted those curves, how thick and, and prevalent the smoke is. If we wanna go and click control, or uh, my bad, right click on this and duplicate the layer again, we can actually, thicken it sort of like the screen method, but we can also move it as well. And we can sort of add some different smoke elements around. Now you may wanna like flip this or something cause you're definitely gonna see the same pattern, but you can really just sort of have a good time with this and keep adding different overlays and really customize your imagery just like so. So that is how you remove a black background. Again, screen is your quickest way to do it. If, if you just wanna really quickly do something, but you don't have a lot of control, and if you want more control, do this mask uh, way of doing it. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make tutorials on Photoshop and Premiere Pro and how they link together and really just everything for a good production workflow. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.